everybody. This is Sandy, Sandra Rodriguez, and I'm speaking to you live from Hollywood, here from Heart of Hollywood, Heart of Hollywood Media. And I'm extremely happy today because we have a very special guest, and that would be Mr. Paul Slatkus. How are you, Paul? I'm good, Sandy. Me I'm too. very glad to be here with you. And uh, to all of you out there, I think there is no person that would be better suited to talk about uh, different stages uh, in entertainment throughout the decades, and certainly about the evolution of entertainment in recent years than Mr. Paul Sladkus. His career spans over 45 years in both TV and marketing. Paul, you need to tell me about back in the day when you were working for CBS TV, maybe with shows such as All in the Family or Sunny and Cher, and all those wonderful shows that we all remember. Okay, well, thank you, and it's a big honor to be here in the heart of Hollywood. Oh, thank you. Right here on uh, Hollywood Boulevard and, uh, and Vine, let's call it, okay? <laughs> and so uh, it's a great location. And, uh, well, I'll, I will start off because uh, actually my buddy who used to have his office after uh, he, he left CBS, Peter Keiko, he and his buddy Paula Beta had an office right here on Hollywood and Vine. So I, I was in, I'm a New Yorker and uh, the, the suburbs of New York, Tarrytown. And uh, I came cross country with my wife at the time, and I changed in farmer's market. I was working at CBS already, and we decided to go cross country. And uh, I changed in farmer's market, because we camped out cross country, and uh, went in and I talked to somebody, this Pete Keiko guy, and uh, got a job at, in, in the studio department, and uh, became because television is about a lot of people uh, that makes an actual show. Yeah. Uh, in fact, the good way of making television is that there's no titles for anybody. We just got to get a job done where it's business, you know, show business. Right. And uh, so this is back in 1973. Um, and I got a job as the assistant manager of uh, Television City, which is on Fairfax and Beverly. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that was exciting uh, because Television City was really, I always compared it to like a, a, a Chicago stock market, actually, unfortunately, <laughs> because you would put, there was four studios and they never stopped. So we would have like Price is Right and uh, Carol Burnett uh, in like one studio or you would have, uh, and then they put uh, Young and Restless in, in a studio and then you'd have a Sonny and Cher in another and... Uh, uh, and all in the family, and they would just put the shows up and down, up and down. And uh, it really, you know, you know how to make a show. It takes three days to make a show. They rehearse it, they do it. Rehearse it, they do it, but during the whole week. And well, actually, all in the family, for me personally, was the reason I went into show business and, instead of uh, shoe business, which is what my family was in. <laughs> and I also couldn't, couldn't spell. That's, this is my little uh, little commentary. Okay, uh -oh, I dropped my award. Well, <laughs> well, well, let me ask you something. Um, I know that throughout the years you've done just so many interesting projects. For instance, I know that you created the Nature and the Brain series for PBS Channel 13. I know that you created something very interesting called Milestone in 1985, that was a multimedia, multicultural com uh, company. But before we get into it, I'm very curious, what are you holding at this time? Okay, yeah, that's important, very important, and I'm very honored. Uh, I was uh, an honoree at, uh, at an, uh, fil a film festival, the Love International Film Festival. Shoot, that's like when I was on the Captain Kangaroo show, and they uh, <laughs> just like put something back up and uh, uh, mir miraculously. <laughs> You know, I think the important thing is to understand that television is television, <laughs> and that you need to understand it. So, uh, uh, what was beautiful is that I uh, uh, was uh, I do on our milestone broadcast company, which we had all these years, and uh, we uh, started in 1998. Actually, um, the first year of multicultural marketing and advertising. So, I would help big companies uh, reach the ethnic community. That's why I asked you about like Broadway. Yes, there are things here. Right. So right. I, I did that. But then in 1998, someone said this internet thing is uh, interesting and that you could start a TV station on the internet. So um, it was like a bunch of young little kids that were subletting some of my office on Fifth Avenue. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, they were compiling all the TV stations and radio stations that were uh, broadcasting via streaming. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, 
So I've been doing that kind of, uh, and I called it good news broadcast, because the reason I did go into this TV thing, which I said mentioned all in, all in the Family, I don't know if I got to that, but All in the Family taught people, it was educational um, and uh, um, uh, hilarious, but you learned about a bigot, uh, Archie Bunker. And so you learned it, it was, uh, you realized types of people. Right, right. And so um, here, uh, so now we've made like, like 5,000 shows now we have on our Good News Broadcast.tv or Good News Planet.tv or Good News To Go. Um, and uh, one of the people that I recently, well, I interviewed Atta Suvati, uh, has an organization called the Lotus Light uh, Children's Charities. Mm -hmm. And Eta is a cool guy and a, and a, a real uh, great uh, humanitarian, I'll say. Um, and he uh, invited me. He has, a, in addition to his charitable outreach, he has a, uh, what he's calling the Love International Film Festival. All right. And last night, um, they had on the 22nd of, uh, of July, um, depending on you broadcast the show, um, then uh, um, he was kind enough to honor our Peace Day efforts, which we've been involved since uh, 2002. Very interesting. And for instance, people that were present at the event last night, what did they see or what was going on then? Um, we, uh, well, the whole event was a film festival mm -hmm. of uh, films that uh, uh, had a theme of um, life affirming and positive, even though there were uh, situations from domestic violence to, uh, uh, you know, current mm -hmm. cur concerning things, but these are people that are bringing attention to those kinds of uh, problematic situations in the world. So the f uh, festival was uh, wonderfully done, and uh, I was very honored to be that sounds wonderful. Is it a yearly festival that we can That's, look forward to? Yes, it is, and it's out here in L.A., and, uh, and uh, they did a great job. Excellent. On it. I, uh, it's all good. Well, that's a wonderful thing you're doing, but also I know that you're working on this. So what this is, mm. sorry, this the Star <laughs> Diamond Award. So, uh, you know, actually I ended up giving uh, Atta a, uh, an award. I never give awards. Actually... Everybody deserves a word. Uh, you know, it's really more recognition in this world. Right. Um, and so, um, because I'm working with this, this is the Five Star Diamond Award, and we give it to, like, the Beverly Hills Hotel and some of the most luxurious uh, uh, restaurants and uh, um, hotels, and I just gave it to Donald Trump. And so, uh, well, no, I gave my peace day, uh, uh, hug a planet to, to the president. And, uh, and this actually, uh, Trump was the, uh, the general chairman of this organization for 25 years. This was started by Frank Sinatra in uh, 1949. And they've given it to lots of good people. And they're very involved with the Muhammad Ali Foundation and Toys for Tots. So there's a lot of do-gooders, very successful people that just started just like everybody else. And... Uh, um, like Donald Trump, and uh, um, you know, just people that work hard and have have succeeded in, in this world. So, uh, um, so I'm helping them. They've asked me to find what I think is appropriate. That's excellent. And b this magazine, by the way, is quite spectacular. It's a it beautiful, is. glossy magazine. I hope to get a chance to read it fully if you okay. would let me. But uh, I also wanted to ask you, before we need to say goodbye. What advice <laughs> would you give a, um, a person starting out in the entertainment industry at this point in time? Well, I think it's important to just have passion in whatever you're doing, whether if it is uh, media and uh, communications. Uh, you know, it's wonderful if you know that that's really what you want to do. It's not the worst thing if you get into it and you realize you don't want to do it. And I think if you do want to do it, then you have to take the ups and the downs find yourself positive people to uh, associate with, um, the, who uh, encourage you, uh, no matter what. As I said, you know, we don't need names and titles mm -hmm. and things. Mm -hmm. Just get near people who, uh, who like what they're doing and uh, are producing something that you believe in or I want to work with. Well, that's an excellent point of view from Mr. Paul Slavkus. 
once again, one of the foremost experts in TV and marketing. Thank you so much for joining us today, Paul, here at Heart of Hollywood Media. Thank you very much, Sandy. And, uh, and you did a real good job. See, I'm a host more often, and I love when <laughs> someone, you know more about me than I know about me. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Paul. And to all our friends out there, please uh, continue watching our interviews on Heart of Hollywood Media. And remember, Heart of Hollywood is your go-to source for modern filmmaker needs of all sorts. And also, we have entrepreneurial networks and certainly media exposure for those who want to further their careers. So thank you. Thank you once again, Paul. That's and great. Bye.